Today, there are a million species of animals living on Earth. Out of the modern species of animals, many have gone extinct like the Tasmanian tiger, the dodo and the sea cow. Some have gone extinct due to climate change, while some have been hunted by humans to extinction. You would be frustrated that these animals are extinct and you would never be able to see them. But there are some prehistoric animals that you'd be thankful are extinct today. This does not include the obvious dinosaurs. These animals might even be scarier than the dinosaurs. The first animal which we are about to see is the Arctodus, or the North American short-faced bear. This bear was the largest mammal and land carnivore ever to live in North America around 10 to 11,000 years ago. These bears are estimated to have weighed up to 1,600 kilograms and reached up to 11 feet when standing up. It is believed that these bears were also fast runners due to their long legs and straight pointed toes. The skulls of these bears indicated that they had a carnivorous diet, which means they probably scavenged and preyed on large herbivores such as bison, deer, horses and ground sloths. Tests reveal that these bears were true carnivores. The disappearance and extinction is linked to the changes in habitat that led to the disappearance of large herbivores at the end of the Ice Age. The second prehistoric animal on the list is the Arthropleura. The Arthropleura is an extinct species and the largest known relative of the modern millipedes and centipedes that lived in what is now Europe and North America around 345 to 290 million years ago. They reached the size of around 8 feet in length and weighed around 50 kilograms. The reason for the large size of prehistoric creatures is said to be due to the availability of significantly more oxygen levels than today. While scientists believe that despite its strong jaw, this large millipede was a herbivore and ate plants, it may have also enjoyed carnivorous meals and may have been an apex predator as it had no known predators. Arthropleura was one of the first animals to eat plants. It likely went extinct due to climate change. Imagine if today's millipedes grew so large, would you dare go into the forest? The next on the list is the Titanoboa. The Titanoboa is an extinct genus of very large snakes that lived in Colombia around 60 million years ago, after the extinction of the dinosaurs. Its size is estimated up to 50 feet long and 3 feet wide. This snake was the top predator in the world's first tropical rainforest. The snake could have reached a weight of 1,135 kilograms. Titanoboa may have been aquatic and hunted early relatives of fishes, turtles and crocodiles. Its size is the sign that the Earth was much warmer than it is now. Scientists believe that there is a possibility that the Titanoboa, or something like it, could come back as the Earth's temperature rises. Some believe the Titanoboa still exists in the parts of Amazon. The fourth prehistoric being is the largest known flying animal that ever lived on Earth, the Quetzalcoatlus. Its name comes from the Aztec feathered serpent god, Quetzalcoatl. Its first fossil was discovered in Texas in the United States, 1971, and dated around 68 million years ago. Quetzalcoatlus is a member of the ancient group of flying reptiles called pterosaurs. It was as big as a giraffe, had a long beak, and a wingspan of up to 40 feet. When they took to the air, they were graceful and powerful flyers. The eating habits of Quetzalcoatlus are unknown. Some think they were scavengers, and others think they skimmed water to find prey. Even with their bird-like hollow bones, they weighed around 500 pounds or 200 kilograms. They roamed the skies and probably went extinct about 65 million years ago during the KT mass extinction. The next is the Archaeotherium, also known as the ancient beast in ancient Greek. They are similar to warthogs, but they belong to the family of entelodonts and are closer on the evolutionary tree to hippos and whales. They are believed to be endemic to North America during the Eocene and Oligocene epochs, existing for approximately 9 million years. In terms of size, an adult Archaeotherium could reach over 6 feet with a large skull over 3 feet and weighed around 150 to 200 kilograms. 
Its jaws suggest that they were omnivores and fossil evidence suggests that they may have hunted the early camel, Poebrotherium. Though Archaeotherium is one of the best preserved of all entelodonts, skulls of entelodonts are far more commonly preserved than full skeletons, and the large size of the head in proportion to the body makes it difficult to accurately estimate the animal's living size and weight. The last prehistoric animal on the list is not only the biggest shark in the world, but one of the largest fish ever to exist, the Megalodon. The Megalodon is an extinct species of the mackerel shark and lived approximately 24 million years ago and went extinct around 2.6 million years ago when the planet entered a phase of global cooling. They lived in most regions of the ocean, except near the poles. While regarded as one of the largest and most powerful predators to have ever lived, the Megalodon is only known from fragmentary remains and its appearance and maximum size are uncertain. Data suggests that adult Megalodons reached a length of around 58 feet and weighed around 50,000 kilograms. Their teeth were thick and robust, and their large jaws could exert a bite force of 40,000 pounds. Megalodon was an apex predator and their diet included whales, large fish and probably other sharks. The Earth experienced a number of changes during the time period Megalodon existed. Extinction of food sources and competition from other predators like sperm whales, killer whales and great white sharks may have contributed to the decline and extinction of Megalodon. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. Stay tuned for more.